A big mess, Shannon. Check it out at this very moment. No headlights, no taillights. I-70 still closed in both directions. All you see is this roadblock here after not one, but two rock slides in Glenwood Canyon overnight. State troopers escorting us into the area of the slide this afternoon, where crews are still working tirelessly to get I-70 reopened. It's not uncommon for us to see that moisture seep into, you know, the rock wall and then basically, you know, pop the rock off. These massive rocks came tumbling onto the interstate overnight. About three of the boulders from this morning, I would say, are about the size of a suburban. And just hours before this big slide. He's incredibly lucky. A smaller one, just nine miles to the east, caused Bob Dorf to swerve in his Chevy Equinox and roll. It looked like there was a refrigerator in the road. He swerved, but not quite enough. His daughter, Heather Rawlings, sending us these photos. Thankful her 78-year-old dad made it out alive. Thankfully, the moment, momentum was just right, and he flipped the car instead of going over the guardrail. The westbound deck of the highway is elevated more than 100 feet above the eastbound lanes in some places. This afternoon, CDOT bringing in this crane to hoist workers up in a bucket who will then scale and pry loose rocks off the canyon face. The big thing is making sure this, the slope is stable above us, and that's what this um, operation is here today. A situation that isn't uncommon, a risk every driver takes entering the canyon at any given time. I think Colorado inherently has that level of risk. I mean, we talk about the natural beauty of this area, but I think one of our biggest natural hazards is rockfall. And it's not unique to us. I was talking to someone about that, but we do see it. So here's the situation. There is a detour, but it takes you all the way up into northwestern Colorado. You have to go through Steamboat over to Craig and then eventually down through Rifle. That will add, add an extra three, maybe even four hours to your trip. And that's in good weather. Mike, as you know, there's a monster snowmaker moving into this area, which could dump up to five to ten inches overnight. We'll toss it back to you, Mike.